What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex, and this is Ask the Cheese Gaming. I'm back with yet another Nintendo 64 review for you today. And hey, for a change, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about a game that's not a kart racer or simulation racer. In this one, I'll be taking a look at Forsaken 64. This game was developed by Iguana Entertainment and published by Acclaim Entertainment with a North American release date of April 30th, 1998. This game also had ports on the PC and PlayStation 1, but those ports had different developers. So if you pick up those titles, just be aware of that. So first off, as you're going to notice from this gameplay footage here, what exactly is Forsaken 64? It's definitely unlike anything that I've ever seen on the console. Well, truthfully, it's a 360 degree movement and viewpoint first-person shooter. In this game, you get to pick either different types of bikes or spacecraft and play them in a multiplayer event for objectives. These objectives can range from defeating all the enemies in the level, or trying to pick up a bomb and drop it off, or maybe clearing out one area, such as, like, say, a hill that you might see in other games, which would be King of the Hill, and then taking an item from that area to another. All of these missions can be played in either single-player or multiplayer free-for-all. The first big hurdle that you're going to notice, however, with Forsaken 64 is the controls take a long while to learn. As I just said previously, you can move and shoot at 360 degrees. So you can be moving forward and then do a completely 180, turn around in the other direction. It takes a long while to really get full hang of the movement and shooting in this game. And I'll tell you right now, if you want to try to tackle this game on higher difficulties, you're really going to need to learn full movement and shooting and what the weapons are because the enemy AI could just be downright ruthless. So with that note, the controls and just the way that Forsaken 64 handles really feels just very different from anything else on the system. Next, I'd like to talk about the music and sound effects for this game. Honestly, they leave a bit to be desired. Especially the music when you're playing through the levels. It just gets really repetitive really quick. I honestly found myself turning the sound way, way down and just focusing on the gameplay itself and just moving and trying to see where enemies were and strafe their fire and shoot them and kill them. So, we have to ask ourselves, overall, is Forsaken 64 worth picking up today? Well, honestly, that depends. If you're going to want to try to pick this game up or add it to your collection, I would just say, be warned now, don't go in with very high expectations. It's definitely different, but I'm not so sure it's necessarily different in a good way or necessarily in a bad way. Honestly, it's kind of hard to say. So, if you see this game at your local game store for like 5 or 10 bucks, then yeah, I'd say give it a try. But if you see it for anything more than that, no, I'd stay away from this game. Truthfully, if you want to play a first-person shooter on the Nintendo 64, I'd say stick with the classics of either Perfect Dark or GoldenEye. You honestly can't go wrong with either of those games. There's a reason that they're as popular still to this day. So, if you're brand new here and you enjoyed this video, I hope that you would please consider subscribing. And as always, if you like this video in particular, please leave me a like, a comment, and a share. I hope everyone is doing well and staying safe in these crazy tumultuous times. I just want to say a quick happy holidays to everyone. I hope your Thanksgiving went well. And let me be the first to say Merry Christmas if you celebrate that. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see everyone in the next video. And as always, if there's a specific video that you want to see me talk about, well, leave me a comment down below, and I'll see what I can do. Thanks, everybody. Stay safe. See you in the next video. Bye.